Five supermassive black holes have been discovered by astronomers at the University of Durham. Until now, they've been hidden by dust and gas. Scientists say it suggests there could be millions more of these cosmic drains in the universe than previously thought. Well, joining us now, astrophysicist and space journalist Sarah Craddus. Um, so, Sarah, you're going to have to give me a bit of a science lesson here. <laughs> you hear about black holes. It's the realms of science yeah. fiction uh, for most people watching today. What exactly is a black hole and why are people so excited we've discovered so many of them? Well, I think the reason we're so excited we've discovered so many of them is because it's almost science, which is too hard to even grasp, even for the scientists involved in it. So black holes, first of all, they aren't black. They're just something which is really, really dense and very heavy. And it's so dense that nothing can escape, not even light, not even gravity. So it does sound like something out of science fiction. Now, black holes fall into different types. You have smaller black holes, which are made from suns, which, well, suns larger than our own sun, which explode and then die and condense and form smaller solar black holes. And then you get these much, much larger supermassive black holes, which are caused by, well, we don't even know what causes them exactly yet, but they're at the centre of galaxies and you get black holes merging with other black holes and it's what causes our galaxy to orbit. Of course, we live in the solar system, which is one of many solar systems in the galaxy, which is one of many galaxies in our universe. So it's all very complicated science. But the thing is with superblasted black holes, we don't know much about them, and until recently we couldn't really detect them. But using this new New Stars telescope, which is a hundred and million pound telescope launched by NASA two years ago, or three years ago now, it was able for the first time to use x-rays, just like x-rays you get when you go for an operation, to actually peer behind this gas and this dust and infer what's known as an accretion disk around a black hole, so that's matter just before it gets sucked in. Mm. And for the first time, we've been able to see five of them in five galaxies, and that's just a real step forward in understanding and being able to see these things and really push the boundaries of science. A hundred million pound telescope, they're glad they found something. Yeah, well, it's a lot of money, but this telescope is actually, it's the first time we've ever had an X-ray telescope mm. orbiting our planet. We've only been going into space for around 50, 60 years. And it's really looking at the really complicated stuff in space. So it's doing a census of black holes and working out where they might exist can we find them, can we detect them? So yes, we found five eventually, and hopefully from that we can infer that there'll be others. We think inside every single galaxy there is one of these supermassive black holes, even though we don't know much about them. And then the other thing this 100 million pound telescope is trying to do is find out more about atoms and something called nuclear, super, uh, nuclear synthesis, which is how we get everything that makes up everything that exists. So the atoms that make up you and I and everything in this room were actually originally created from a supernova, which is an exploding star which dies and explodes and then creates these other atoms. So it's doing very high-end science and quite complicated science, this telescope, but it's really pushing the frontiers of science and our understanding of the universe, which again has real benefits back here on Earth because by learning more about the universe you inspire a generation to go on and do more things to push the boundaries of science and technology. So for example the generation which were inspired by the Apollo missions built the modern world which we live in today with computers and all the wonderful technology that we take for granted. So what do you think we're going to learn from supermassive black holes. And as we use the term <laughs> supermassive, it sounds like something a teenager would say, how big are these song, things? <laughs> they are millions and millions of times the mass of our sun. So they're not as big as you think because they're very, very dense, but they're very, mm. very massive. So we can't comprehend. I think the universe is not only as strange as we can imagine, but it's stranger than we can imagine. So it's something we can't yet comprehend and maybe we'll never be able to comprehend mm. within our own lifetime. But the understanding is, we can learn that little bit more about the world around us and the fact that we are just this one tiny planet, which is one of many out there in the universe. And stuff goes into them, but we don't yet know where it goes. Um, it's too dense, it can't escape. So it goes, it's, imagine a sheet of paper and then a very, very heavy object which causes a hole and everything falls down that hole so it can never, ever escape. OK, so <laughs> Very <stuff>. complicated, isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> no, Sarah, you made it nice and simple for us. Thank you, Sarah. Thank, Thank you. you.